what I want to talk about. I want to talk about why women choose bum Negroes. And it's not even just bum Negroes. It could just be bum dudes in general. So we all know about women's lib and how that has affected women of today's society. And it's actually two waves of women's lib. You had women's lib in the late 1800s and you had women's lib of the 70s. And basically what is lib? Do as you please. How that had controversial and also hindering women is that yes you didn't have to be at home barefoot and pregnant but you actually lost a home you actually lost a man and you actually chose not to have children which is your choice if you don't want to get married ain't nobody gonna force you if you don't want to have kids no one's gonna push a kid. but what they don't talk about with women list is the failures and you see it across the board you see how women and men can't even have a conversation without it being volatile without each other cursing each other out you see how women just have barely any standards you see women who wouldn't do things let's say 30 years ago that have no problem with those things today you see women highly sexual where there's no boundaries where I could sell my body and look at it as cute because I'm getting the attention. You definitely see it with social media. So there's certain things that women live has been a negative. To. And these are the failures I'm going to talk about today. And we don't talk about the failures that are being pushed out to the younger generation. You don't hear women talk about, okay, yes, I've been liberated. Yes, I don't have to work at the home, but I see other women and how they're treated and how they get certain benefits. There's women who, yes, they don't have to work a 9 to 5, they don't have to go into traffic, they don't have to work in a hostile environment because they're at home. They get the benefits of being at home and being laying out in the house. They don't have to worry about traffic, crunching numbers, working overtime. They don't have to worry about being sore and worn out at the end of the day. Women don't talk about there are benefits to staying at home. And women are talking about like, yes, you are sexually active highly sexual active and you get whatever man that you want but men don't value you men don't actually get the time to court you they will sleep with you they might even flaunt you they're thinking of marrying you they're not thinking of taking you home they're looking at it like look if you're not going to spread your legs i'm over it i mean there was a meme on facebook i believe and it was something like in the 19 let's say 30s there was such thing as can i have this dance fast forward um 1940s and 50s then there was such thing as courting um 1970s i think it was let me have this dance the 90s it was what's your sign zodiac sign and today it was something like let me see you twerk or, or something of the sort where it was just like look i just want to see how your physical is i don't care about your mental i don't care about anything else what that mouth do and that's the generation that we're living in. And you have girls being pressured into doing certain things that they don't want to do, but they don't want to be called a lame. They don't want to be called a childish. They don't want to be called the outsider. So they're doing things because they feel pressured to. And you have women telling them that, yeah, you should do that, girl. Ain't no thing. Use your body. Get where you go. Get where you can with your body. But these women are telling you, you can only do that for so long. You can only use your body until it deteriorates there's a saying where it goes women age like spoiled milk and men age like fine wine what happens when your expiration date is up what happens when you have poured out and you have turned out every day that you could and you still haven't amounted to anything that you're 40 50 and you're still doing the same tricks and it hasn't gotten you anywhere that you're dealing with the same group of guys who haven't done anything to you or well, anything for you but laid the pipe and let's say you are one of the rare females that actually gets to where you're at. That's a reputation that you have to carry for life. It doesn't matter if you find a cure for cancer. If you're known for a thought and you have a history of being a thought, that's what people are going to remember you as. Let's say you do find the cure for cancer. You're going to be known as that thought who found the cure for cancer. That never evades you. And you're going to have to explain to your children that yes, you have this new polished mom appearance, but catch mommy dares 20 30 years ago and she was getting trains ran on, on her what does that say to your daughters and what does it say to the sons that you're raising and what kind of woman that they should go off with women choosing bum dudes women think that their body will attract the dude and i'm like yeah he will attract you but he's not going to take you seriously what, what does it say about your relationship where he can only get to the only time where he wants you around is when you're doing something sexual. 
let's say you're trying to talk business with him. Let's say you're trying to talk about your personal feelings. He doesn't care because how he got you is how he's going to relate to you. That's all you have to offer is something sexual. Even if you are smart, even if you did get a degree, that's not how you got him. That's not how you interacted. It was on some thoughty things. So that's all he wants you to do is thoughty things. And then these women have children, they have daughters, and they try to convince their daughters this is the move, this is the way, that these are what's left out here in the world. These are the guys that you should be choosing because you could either A, change him, work him, go through all the heartaches and the breakup, and I'm going to leave him, but I love him type of drama, these reality shows type of the guy, where you lose your dignity, you lose your self-respect, but your girls are going to cheer you on. They're not going to tell you, girl, you can do better, you're cute. You have smarts. You have used what God has given to you to your best of your abilities. No, they're going to tell you, oh, if he's not corroborating, go to the next bum dude. Go to the next dude who has money. The next dude who's going to use you for your body. And keep on riding that train until you can't no more. Instead of telling you, don't do that. You're better than that. And I feel like this right here would be a perfect time to throw in Lawrence Hill's do wop that thing or TLC's unpretty and it's just like you go from those type of songs to these songs today where it's all about your physical and I'm like this is what's wrong with this generation that's why you have so many girls who are insecure but have all the gumption all the confidence to go out and do sexual things and go out there and put themselves on Fix the internet and, and basically pour themselves go. out and I'm like that how the internet is working right now every thing you put out there is out there it's never going to go away and you're going to have to explain that because your mentality today me as whatever age you are is not hopefully hopefully you grow up and you mature it's not going to be your mentality 20 30 40 years later and you're the internet as a proof of or the measurement of how you change specifically where you started at and you're going to have to carry that burden so with that woman's lib I just wanted to make a little brief overview of how I feel about women today choosing bum dudes and pushing that mentality on to next generation and how that's just not helping and aiding us because it's cool to say oh I want a girl with smarts I want a girl who actually knows how to carry a conversation but it means nothing if you're dating the girl who's a whore it means nothing if you're choosing the girl who can work her body you're talking out of both sides of your neck and it's just a big confusion if you really like the girls with smarts you choose the girl with smarts but if you really like the girl with, who whores herself out go for the girl who whores herself out I'm not going to dismiss it but what I am saying is what you get is what you get you can't really expect the girl who whores herself out for you wouldn't whore herself out with someone who has something better whether it's a bigger bank account whether it's a flashier car whatever it is and you can't expect a guy who chose you because of your physical appearance chose you for all the sexual deeds that you have done to now respect you to now ask for your opinion when he found you it wasn't on some deep conversation type stuff so that is my video. Um, if you like this video, please comment, share, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think. Have you ever dealt with someone who was a bum dude and did you stay with them? Did you knock them? Have you ex experienced this yourself with the generation today of women and the generation of the past and how that is conflicting? None of these women are telling you the failures of, okay, yeah, I got the guy, but he beats up on me. Or, yeah, I got all these guys' attention, but they only see me as a sexual object or I had these kids and he doesn't want anything to do with me or my kids because of how our relationship started. These women aren't telling you the failures, women's liberation. These women aren't telling you of how it's lonely to go to bed at night because there's no man there. It's hard to do labor that's geared towards men, but now that you're so independent and you so don't need a man, you gotta do it, you know? It's easy to look at men as disposable until you don't have men, but then you're going to complain about the lack of men. You're going to complain about there's no good men. You're going to complain about how the men are not in the community, but then again, you just said you didn't want men. Then again, you just said that you are so independent and you're so fierce and you're so womanhood and rah rah it, you don't need a man. You cannot just chuck the man away and you cannot just chuck the woman away because you need them. They're essential. They're, they balance each other out. They are compatible. 
And with li women's liberation, it made it seem like women can be women and men. And you can't. I mean, you piss standing down and men piss standing up. You can't be a man. And these are the issues with women's liberation. Is that you quiet the man, you silence the man, you kick the man to the curb. And then you want to complain about the man not really being there. Or the men that are there, they're not men. They're overgrown boys. They don't do anything that's beneficial for the household. Or they don't treat women with respect. They are whatever your, your gripe is with them. But I'm like, you either raise the, these type of men to come into fruition for my generation. Or you kicked out the male figure that they could have looked up to. So now they have a griping with women. They have issues with women. Or they flat out said, I don't want to deal with women. I'm going to deal with men. They are, they'll do whatever it takes for likes, for reputation, for a text, a comment. And that's what we're living in this generation. And you think these women are going to be the Claire Huxtables of tomorrow? These women are going to be the ones who are going to teach women how to carry themselves? No. But what I will say is, I do believe that there is change. I do believe that you can change. I mean, Maya Angelou, for example, she was a former prostitute from her pimp, but that's not what we know her for. We know her for her great work as an author, as a poet, as a professor, because she changed and she wanted to be the best that she can. And I believe that anybody can change. Anybody can be the best that you can. But also back then there was no internet. There was cameras and with cameras, if you could make the pictures go away or make the film go away then it really didn't exist but today like I said you have the internet but anywho I do believe that you can change if you choose to but do you want to and this is what we're going to see the outcome of a woman's lib the outcome of being free as a bird we're going to see this in the next 20 30 years and how that has an impact with the generation after me and I feel like this generation is very pivotal we could do whatever we want whether it's continue the negativity or raise above it and do better. And I feel like from my generation, we have to do better. There's no other choice. We have to, but we should want to. And my question is, do we want to? This is my video. Be blessed. And I'm out.